Pleased to be joined by co-defensive coordinator Harlan Barnett. Coach, let's talk about this defense as a whole. Where have you seen the greatest growth in this group from the end of last season up until now? Uh, the greatest growth has been really um, our guys locking in on what to do. The attention to detail is very, very high. Um, Obviously, we had a lot of time to work with our guys this offseason, and we, we've done a lot of great things with them as far as uh, we call some things mini camps, and, and uh, we had a good winter conditioning program where we got with them and met with them and all those type of things. So really, the attention to detail is very, very, very high right now. So uh, excited about, this guy, about these guys. They're young, but they're ready to go, and they're hungry. A little, little trouble last year getting to the quarterback on a routine basis like you guys have done in previous years or there's some things that you guys are working on in camp to be able to correct that absolutely i can't share them with you but yeah absolutely. <laughs> Just, <laughs> but, man them up a little bit but yes we have we really uh, self-scouted ourselves this off season and figured out you know why that issue happened and uh it was some things that that we were doing as coaches as well as it wasn't just the players we got to take responsibility as well and uh we feel like we've got those things corrected so hopefully we you'll see uh pressure like you've normally seen out of michigan state defense being a young team how does it impact the amount of defenses you can implement uh it impacts it because you want them to be able to play fast you want you don't want to have so much in that they can uh lock in on what they need to do as well as lock in on the opponent and what they're trying to do against you if you have too much in then they only focus on what we're trying to do and can't lock in on the opponent. So uh, it's not as much in that, that we normally have in, but it's a good package that they understand. We try to keep it simple, and we've always tried to keep it fairly simple where our guys can play fast and furious. How about the leadership from a defensive standpoint? How's that been developing? Uh, because it's an important part of what you guys need to do to get back. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, I brought up Chris Fry earlier. Mm -hmm. He's a guy that's been around and, and played in some important games for us around here. So we rely heavily on him. Uh, a guy like Raekwon Williams, we're trying to get him to come out of his shell and uh, and let him know that he's a leader because guys look, look up to him. He don't say much, but when he talks, like E.F. Hutton, like you guys know that <laughs> one, uh, people listen. And we talk about leadership all the time. Uh, Coach D'Antonio does. So those guys are stepping up. We bring them out of their comfort zone, get them in front of the team, and have, have them have words with the team, and it's making them stronger leaders. Who are some of the young guys who particularly stood out to you? I, I know this is a freshman class. I mean, talented, a lot of guys who can run. Who do you think might see the field? Um, Josiah Scott don't see the field. I'm just going to put that out there. He came in early. Uh, young man that I think is a really good football player. And uh, he's, he's 5'10", and we like our guys no shorter than 5'10 or so, but he's, he's an explosive 5'10 that can play. Uh, Trey Person is a young man that's, that's playing well out of Atlanta. Um, other young guys uh, that are playing, playing well, Jacob Ponashuk is playing really well as well. Um, so those are some freshmen that, that just come to, the, to my mind. Antoine Simmons is another one, a linebacker. So I hit all groups, all right? But uh, they're good players, and we expect big things from them. Harlan Barnett, thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.